Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to talk all about how the Akashic Records help you heal. So there's many different ways, and I've actually written a blog post all about this, but I wanted to do a video because I thought it would be easier to explain certain things and I would be able to kind of say it in my own words. I'm not a very good writer, per se, so um, I always like to either talk or do video. It just helps me express myself a little bit better. And I'm also trying to get out my comfort zone, so this is a good way to do this. So I actually have my notes here, and I'm going to dive right in, so let's get right into the video. I am super passionate about the Akashic Records, and I want people to know more about it, and I want people to understand how you can heal, because a lot of people are like, oh, Akashic Records, I don't understand what that is. And I did a whole video about that, so... I'll link that below and you can watch that before you watch this if you like. But essentially, with this video, what I wanted to do was really just explain the different modes of healing. And there's many different ways and it could really depend on the reading, the person, the issues that are being kind of brought out during the session. And obviously, as you all may or may not have, have seen in the video before, with a reading you need to prepare your questions. And a lot of times, at least this is what happens through my readings, a lot of those questions will be answered within the first 20 minutes and then we can get deeper into other things and further ask questions. So that's when the healing starts. The more we dig, the more we ask, the more we inquire, the more information can come through. That's when the healing really starts because it's bringing information into our consciousness. My sister Luciana actually did a whole blog post about this so I'll link that below as well so you can listen to it in audio format and there'll probably be a little bit different information and expressed in a different way. So feel free to listen to that as well. And we get into, you know, healing and how the Akashic Records really work with healing because it is different for everybody. And I want to say that because it really depends on you and your issues and what you're going through and your soul contract and what you're really supposed to do in this life. So all of that will really have an impact on how the healing will occur for you. And like I was saying, each reading I do with a client is as unique as the person that comes to me. And the issues are very different. And even though issues may overlap, there will be underlying information that comes through that's very different and unique to that person. I have personally been getting my Akashic Records read since I was probably like 25. And I have really seen a profound impact in my healing and in the information that comes through really to help me advance and follow my path and, and trust myself and really understand myself and where I'm going and what I need to do. And that's what I feel like a lot of people find when they get a reading. They're just really, they, they get the peace of mind that they need. They understand where they're going and the path that they're on and why certain things are happening. And that gives you healing in itself, right? So let's get into some of the ways that the Akashic Records help you heal. So number one is information. And information is, to me, one of the big ones because there's so much information that comes through in a reading. It's a lot of talking when you're channeling and it's a lot of questions and answers. And, you know, I have I still am that person that goes into a reading when I'm getting mine read, for example, or someone coming to me and asking a question like, why am I struggling with this? Why is this happening to me? And what do I need to learn from it? And a lot of times something will click. That information that comes through will help you click and understand your issue, understand why it's happening. And I also like to point out that the fact that you're acknowledging that there's an issue, the fact that you're seeing that there's a struggle, that in itself is already huge. It's huge that you're asking about it and that you're willing to open up about it and that you're willing to receive information about it. That's your first step of healing. That You're already starting there on that path. And something I see time and time again is many times you already have the answers within us. We intuitively know what's going on and what's happening and why it's happening. We just don't trust it. And the Akashic Records helps you kind of confirm it. You know, it's kind of like, oh, wow, okay, yeah, that, that is exactly how I was feeling, what I was thinking, which is really your intuition. And now I, I know that's true. Now I can trust that information. So let's say you ask about a struggle with, I don't know, a partner, for example, or your mom or your dad or whatever type of relationship and information comes through. You just receiving that and being able to acknowledge that, that struggle, acknowledge what's going on, acknowledge that information. And then you getting a response from the Akashic Records, from your soul, from your masters, your guides, helps you not only just move forward in a different way, but like I said, many times it helps you just make a click. It clicks, you're like, okay, I get it. I understand why this is happening. And you don't have to blame yourself. It's not about, for maybe sometimes it is about forgiving. It depends really on the situation and the question. And through that information, a lot of times we can accept it. 
you know, I accept that this struggle is happening in my life. I understand now why it's happening and what it's here to show me. And I can let it go. And the moment you energetically let it go and the moment that you energetically kind of accept it, the situation many times changes or you change so that person changes alongside you. Energetically speaking, it can shift many things and that information coming into your conscious mind and into your brain a lot of times can help you really just accept it and let it go. And something I like to also say here and that I generally mention to most people that are getting a first time reading is that you're never going to hear something that you're not ready to hear or that you're not prepared to hear. So the masters, guides, and beings of light, your soul, they know exactly how you need to hear something and the and how the information needs to be brought forward. You know, sometimes you can go into a reading with a little bit of anxiety, a little bit of fear, and just know that it's okay. You're not going to hear anything that's going to hurt you. And it's not about pointing their finger at you or telling you that you did something wrong because they don't see things in that energy field. They don't see things in that way. It's perfect. This happened. This is why it's happening. And this is your most aligned path to maybe get to the other side and kind of transition into a different energy. So certain words will come through, certain information will come through that will resonate with you so that you understand it clicks and you're able to process it, accept the situation, let it go if you need to, and move on with your life and be, be more aligned with your path, with your life. Number two is perspective. And this is something we teach as well when we do level one, which is reading your own Akashic Records. And we always explain this. It's the Akashic Records gives you a different perspective. You're able to see things from a different perspective and a different position. It kind of broadens your, your perspective. So you're able to see it from different ways and different um, angles. The fact that you can see an issue or a struggle from a different perspective helps you open your mind, helps you open your consciousness, and helps you deal with it in a different way. As well, once we get that different perspective, we're able to associate or look at that issue so differently and feel it differently within our body. So that helps us heal it. It helps us let it go. It helps us forgive. It helps us understand ourselves and where we're going through certain things. A good example of perspective would be, for example, let's say you have an issue with your mom and you ask about the soul, your mom's soul contract with you or if you have a soul contract with your mom with certain struggles and something comes to you explaining their soul contract in relation to you and why certain things are happening and that makes you see the whole issue and the way maybe she's treating you or the way certain issues are coming through or why you're always butting heads or why you're always arguing and you're able to see it from a different perspective in order to fully understand it and and that alone just releases energy it releases the control that you have over the issue because when we can understand something, we can let it go. If we don't understand something, we're, we're constantly going to be going through it in our brain. And that's what I find with a lot of readings. It's, I just don't understand. I just don't get this. I don't, I don't understand what I need to do with this. I don't understand why this keeps coming up in my life. I, I need to get it. And the moment someone gets it, it clicks. It's like, it's not as heavy in your body. It's not as heavy in your energy field. And you're able to just move on and do something differently or just changes a relationship because a lot of times I've seen with clients where they can let something go like they're angry at their mom let's say and the moment they can understand what they're going through in relation to to them it's like they're no longer angry and they, they they even start treating the person differently and relating to them differently so that perspective of really allows you to let go that's how I see it and that's how I've experienced it as well it's like I, I don't have to be angry at you because I understand why this is happening it doesn't mean you're not going to put up your boundaries it doesn't mean that you're not going to do what you need to do in your life it just means you're going to understand it differently and that gets me into the topic of soul contracts because soul contracts can give us so much information that could really help us understand our relationship and understand our struggles so much. So that's something that comes up very often in an Akashic Records reading, especially if you ask, especially if you're inquiring about it. Because remember, if we don't ask about something in the Akashic Records, they're not going to give us the information. We need to use our free will, which everyone has to ask a question in order to receive an answer. Another good example is health, health issues. Um, and for me, I'm gonna use my example because I think this is a good one and it really did help me at the time. This was many years ago when I started getting acne, cystic acne all over my face because of my PCOS. But it was pretty bad, like to the point where I was going to the doctor and I was like having to force them to do tests on me. And then I go to a dermatologist and he 
tells me to take Accutane, which I refused to take because I knew this was a hormonal issue and it wasn't something, it was something that I could deal with you know, on my own or holistically. I went to get my Akashic Records read and the person that read my records came through with some really interesting information about my feminine energy and how it was kind of like in a way negating it or not going into that feminine energy that was really important for me to go into because it's part of why I'm here and part of um, me channeling today, right? So it was important that I didn't bypass that, that I really went into that energy. And obviously I, I didn't take Accutane, which is fine. If you take Accutane, there's nothing wrong with it. I just knew I didn't want to. And I knew I knew what the problem was, especially after the Akashic Records. So I was like, why am I gonna take drugs? I mean, I was on antibiotics for three months and it did nothing. So that in itself showed me that it was something more underlying. So a lot of times we can get a perspective on a health issue or a struggle that we had no idea. And there's something deeper rooted that we can fully understand and then once we treat that emotional side of it or the past life side of it we can let it go and it can start to heal on its own or slowly heal on its own with the things that we're doing every day by meditating or by connecting with ourselves or by forgiving ourselves so that's it's huge it's a huge one the perspective as well because it can help us really just understand things a lot more number three is acceptance and what I find a lot of times in readings is that people don't understand why something's happening, first of all, but then they're maybe asking about it because they don't accept it. They don't understand that it's there for a reason. And the moment the information comes through and you accept it, the healing is like exploded. It's everywhere. It's, it's amazing how just that acceptance of the struggle, the issue, and the information that comes through can be like life-changing. And a lot of times when, when I see this with certain um, readings or you know the person doesn't have to tell me i can i can feel it i can see it by the way they're asking the question or the information that's coming through when we're in a victim mentality when we're not accepting what's happening to us we're not going to be able to heal it that's not going to happen it's just there's no way around it so the moment that the information comes through and that we can slowly start to bring it into our consciousness, accept it, that's when the healing starts. The moment we're already going to ask the question, that's when the healing starts as well. The moment you've accepted to get an Akashic Records reading or any kind of reading, we're already starting the healing process. But acceptance is huge because if we're in a place of victim or blaming or looking outward to find where someone else went wrong, then we're not we're not gonna heal it. We're not gonna heal, regardless of what the issue is. Information and perspective go hand in hand with acceptance because without the information, the perspective, many times we can't accept what's happening because we don't understand it. It's all kind of goes together in a way, but they're, they're important in themselves as well. Number four is confirmation. This is, n this is a great one because I find this is fascinating and a lot of you I would say most people, if not 99.9% .9 of the people that come, will be like, I already knew all the information that you said to me. You're just confirming it and making me feel so much more like confident in, in that I have all the answers within me. And not to say, you know, even I today will need an Akashic Records reading every now and then just to confirm as well that what I'm feeling and the information I'm getting is right. It just helps when you have an external source kind of bring that information forward. I mean, many times someone will ask a question, the information will come through, and they're like, I already knew that. And it's just, they didn't trust it. Their, their gut, their intuition was telling them what they needed to do or what was happening. They just didn't trust it. The Akashic Records can confirm things. And then from there, it's like you're, you're free to heal. You're free to walk your own path. You're free to just be. And with the confirmation of the information, it'll help you kind of solidify certain things and say, okay, I accept this path I'm on and I'm going to align with whatever's coming and accept whatever's coming. This interesting, a lot of interesting things can come through in a reading. It really depends on the questions you ask and what you're, where you're at in life and what your struggles are and what your contract is. But many times, wow, like they will give you some really interesting information that'll help you align with wherever you're going or where you're at. And the fact that this is such a common occurrence that most people at some point in the reading or even after will say, I kind of already knew that. It's so common that it makes me really confirm, it really confirms for me that we are all connected. We are all connected to our soul. We're all connected to Akasha in some way. We just don't 
trust it. We don't trust the information that we're getting and it's important that we do, especially moving into 2021. I want to put that in out there because I think a lot of us just don't don't believe in ourselves and it's so important that we do because that can literally change the whole process that we that we go through in healing. Another way that you can heal through the Akashic Records is through past life. So past life information isn't something that generally comes up all the time. It really depends on the questions asked and the issues at hand. And I'm just generalizing because it's hard to really give a concrete answer with a lot of these and this is why there's so many ways to heal. But Akashic, um, Akashic Records can bring through past life information. And a lot of times what I like to say is you're not going to be bombarded with information that's not pertinent to this life. So if it doesn't relate to something that you're going through in this life, generally they're not going to bring it up. It's just too much information and you don't need it. The Akashic Records really want you to understand where you're at now, why you're struggling, and kind of set you free from any anything that's blocking you from moving forward. Past life information will come through if it relates to something you're going through in this life. And many times you will need to ask about it or a lot of other times it just comes up on its own and I will feel that, I will feel that come through and I will say that to the person. This issue seems to be linked to something in a past life, would you like to ask about it? Because I, I don't want to ask something for somebody else when you know they might not want to know about it that's their free will and i like to make sure that the person that's getting a reading uses their free will to ask those questions so past life information can really help you understand relationships struggles that you're having in this life that might be related to that past life that they might mention but also kind of like even money issues like i've seen that come up in a reading with myself like seeing that past life kind of before my eyes of understanding why I have this block with money, this block with abundance and certain things in my life. The next one is forgiveness. Many times with the information that comes through an Akashic Records reading, we're able to forgive people, forgive ourselves. That's a huge one and I think a lot of people don't understand how many of us need to forgive ourselves for things that we are holding on to that no one really is asking us to stay mad at ourselves. It's just within ourselves to stay mad because we think that we've done something wrong or we think that, I mean, many times it can be something from your childhood. I see this time and time again. You know, something happened in, in a person's childhood and they, they blame themselves for it. Maybe their mom wasn't, wasn't there for them or their dad walked out on them or you know they got into a fight with somebody and then they forgive they don't they can't forgive themselves they keep holding on to that inside of them and it's making them not only maybe sick but also not allowing them to heal through the information as well i think many times we're able to let go of situations struggles reoccurring themes in our life that we know are not serving us and we're able to kind of just let it go and it's not a burden anymore and we're able to kind of forgive things you know i've seen situations where people People have been mad at a person forever and then all of a sudden this information comes through and then they're able to forgive and the moment they forgive it's like this weight's been lifted off their shoulder they feel lighter even at the end of most readings most people already feel that way but the fact that they don't feel mad at somebody or themselves anymore is huge and it's so releasing and that can really happen with with a reading and essentially when we forgive we're able to let go and heal we're able to look at situations with love acceptance love and accept ourselves you know for me forgiveness has been a huge theme in the past few years of just forgiving myself for situations i've been in things that i've put myself through put other people through i would say kind of like self-hatred in a way for, for a lot of part of my years um but i no longer feel that way i was able to kind of heal that and with a lot of work with a lot of self-reflection and with a lot of just accepting things in my life and being able to let them go and the perspective we get many times through a reading can really allow us to forgive. Um, maybe no one's given us that kind of in information or no one's given us the go-ahead. Like, you, you can forgive yourself. You're okay. And this is how you can do it. So many times you can ask, how can I do that? And there could be a specific kind of exercise that you can do or um, it might just be you know, internal. Many times it's internal when it's forgiveness. It doesn't have anything to do with the person, what they've done, or how they've done it to you. It's all about you and how you see the situation. So that's why the Akashic Records in that aspect is so helpful because it's never about anybody else. It's about how you are relating to the situation, the struggle, the re reoccurring themes or whatever, and how you can let that go. Another one is origin. So many times when we have a struggle or something that's reoccurring, especially reoccurring issues, I think a lot of us are like, they just things that keep happening keep happening and it's like you're in this wheel and you can't stop and it just keeps happening and you don't know how to like take a step out or back 
and look at the situation, understand why it's happening. Understanding the origin of why that's happening, it could be related to something in a past life, it could be related to something in your childhood, it could be related to something in your contract that you need to learn and you're not learning it, so it's happening over and over again. And my goal as a reader is to get to the bottom of everything, to get to the root of everything by asking the right questions and assisting the person that's coming to see me to ask the right questions and suggesting the right questions. When something comes up, it's just not taking it for face value. It's okay, we have this here, we have this information presented. How can we dig deeper? Is there something more we can ask? How do, what do we need to learn from this? I think that's a huge one. If any answer we get, we could just understand why it's happening and what we need to learn from it. Like healing can come from anywhere. It's gonna help us so much. So understanding the origin of something is really going to help us get to the root of it. And that's through the questions you ask. So the questions are something I guide my clients through and I help them kind of sift through things and really chat about things. And, and when we're in the Akashic Records, it's seeing what comes through and being open. And I always say to people, as long as you have an open energy and you're calm and you're really just embodying the energy of the Akashic Records, the information that needs to come through is going to come through. No more, no less. The perfect amount and exa exactly what you need to hear. So just trust that as well. But the origin to me is also maybe with sometimes it could be related to a past life. But a lot of times personally for me, when I do a reading, it can come through with childhood things, with um, kind of the lineage, the DNA. So that could be a huge one for many people to understand themselves and why things are happening. And a very common question is like, why does this keep happening? Why do I feel like this issue does not go away? Why can't, like, let's say, why can't I lose weight? Why do I have this chronic health issue? Why do I keep making the same mistakes? Why do I keep dating the same guys? Like things like that, that you're like, there needs to be something behind that. But that's through the questions that you ask that you can get and dig deep and find the origin of the issue. And that way you can heal it. So you're not gonna repeat it. And you're gonna be able to just look at it with a different light and just accept it but also say, I want something different. I want to align with a different truth. And, and I've learned my lesson. So that means I can move on and live my life with a different intention. And this is also where karmic lessons come in because there's many times lessons that we need to learn, karmic lessons that might be pending from a previous life. And that's where past lives come in. So if it's something from a previous life, many times it will be harder to deal with if we haven't resolved it in this past life. And sometimes it's not harder. I find sometimes it's just different and you have to deal with it differently. But when you understand what was residual from this past life and why it's occurring now, you're like, okay, I need to learn this lesson. I need to let this go. This is just something, this is like a bump in my road right now on my path that if I just learn this lesson, it's not gonna keep happening again. It's, I'm gonna be able to let it go and just live my life and then learn my next lesson because we're here to learn lessons. So it's not like all your problems and issues are gonna go away. You're just gonna progress to learn new things and sometimes some of us aren't here to struggle that much some of us are here to just live out different things but the reality is as humans that we're here to live life death we're here to live human experiences which many times can be struggles that's just a reality and understanding the origin of something is really eye-opening and it can really help you have that aha moment like we say sometimes on the podcast of oh wow i get it now this makes so much sense and then that makes you have like a click there's a click that goes on and you're like i understand this so now i can release it this doesn't have to be a part of my path anymore i i forgive myself i let this go this doesn't have to keep reoccurring and and i'm okay with letting this go and the last one is mission and purpose and this is a question that i probably get every reading or if not every almost every reading to understand your mission and purpose here in your life and that's a huge thing for us to really extract from the akashic records because if we can understand why we're here and what our mission is and what like the purpose of being here we can understand ourselves and then we can heal whatever it is that we need to because if we're here to let's say i don't know be free and be happy then all these things that are worrying us or holding us back are just part of that struggle of us accomplishing our mission and i also some, like something i like to say is like we i get many people and i think i used to think this way as well it's like wow what's my mission my purpose and a lot of people think like Oh, like Mother Teresa, like she was here to help people in need and do all these amazing things. I'm sorry, Sandy's just being really loud. Um, to do all these amazing things and it's not everybody's path. Some of us are here just to live a really simple life and learn specific lessons and that's it. Sorry, Sandy was being a little loud so I just paused. So understanding our mission and purpose is huge. It can really give us perspective on where we're at, what we're here to do. But like I was saying with like the Mother Teresa example, we're not all here to 
do these ridiculous, crazy things. Some of us are, but it's not the case for all of us. And that doesn't mean that you're here to do something less important. It's just a different path. It's what your soul chose to do. Your soul put together its mission, its, its lessons, what it decided to do in this life before you even were born. It's important that we follow through with whatever our mission and purpose is, that we align with it, because the more we can do that, the more we can feel free, the more we can feel like we're, we're doing what we need to do in this life. When we're not aligned with that, when we're not aligned with our mission and purpose, let's say you're in a dead end job and you keep feeling this pull to do something, I don't know, for the lack of like examples, um, do something spiritual and start your own business. The more you hold yourself back from that, the more you're going to feel depressed, the more you're gonna feel disconnected from yourself, and the more you're gonna feel like, why am I here? What am I doing? Why is this all happening? So it's, it's huge that we can understand our mission and purpose because then we can start to heal. We can start to understand ourselves and we can start to push ourselves in the direction that we need to go. And many times when we don't, you know, when we don't, follow our mission and purpose, when we feel held back by certain things, that's when we do get sick. That's when we do feel depressed and feel misaligned with whatever we need to do in this life. And it's really sad because we have these tools like the Akashic Records to help ask questions and to connect with that information. It's just up to you to decide that. It's up to you to use your free will to really say, okay, I want to get information. I'm really curious and I'm open to receiving information. That being said, it could be you opening your own too. You can open up your own Akashic Records, receive your own information, and connect with your intuition and get guidance that way too. So anything's valid here. You know, some people can get information through an intuitive reading or a psychic medium. You know, there's no right or wrong here. It's what resonates with you. And that's what I always say. Follow your intuition. I think that's going to be a huge theme for 2021. We all need to follow our heart. We all need to follow our path. And everybody's path is going to be different. We're all going to be doing different things. And that's what's going to help raise the energy vibrate higher and all that so i hope this information has been helpful i have a whole blog post so i'll link that below which kind of goes into depth as well on different scenarios and different cases and stuff like that and different information i can't put all, all into this video but i thought it'd be nice for people that don't want to read a blog post so if you are curious about an akashic records reading feel free to send me a message i'll put the link below as i mentioned as well i incorporate bach flowers and flower therapy as well as hypnosis and other things into my session so feel free to inquire about those as well. I'll definitely be doing a Bach Flowers video, so look out for that in the near future, probably in January. Thank you again for tuning in. Make sure you subscribe and like this video if you've enjoyed it. It's been helpful. It really helps support my channel. And I'm sending you guys lots of love and light for 2021. And I hope to see you here next week with a new video.